<laughs> I've only got lost my bloody falcon. <laughs> Don't you just hate it when that happens? First of all, it's quite hard to hide the fact that you've lost your falcon. In fact, the only real way you can try and hide the fact that you've lost your falcon is to do this. <laughs> now, people will think one of two things. Either A, look at that cool guy pretending to be a bear. <laughs> or B, has that guy lost two falcons? <laughs> You can't just call out the name of your one true existing falcon, mine's called Stanley. <laughs> because then everyone's going to be like, hey, that guy's only got one true existing falcon, but he's trying to pretend he's got two true existing falcons. Or maybe he does have two true existing falcons that both happen to be called Stanley. But you know what? That would just be absurd. <laughs> so instead, as well as calling out Stanley, you also have to make up random, falcony sounding names in the hope that there will be a similarly named, renegade, freelance falcon in audible range who will be happy to come down and help you out. So it's like, Stanley, Kes. Now this guy's gonna be like, hey, Kes or Kestrel, not a falcon. Well, I think you're fine, sir. The falcon's actually an overarching term for any of 37 different species of raptors, including hobbies, merlins, and guess what? Yes, Kestrels! <laughs> Stanley Millennium <laughs> That's a proper joke Stanley Tarquin And lo and behold Stanley and Tarquin land And I'm filled with joy <laughs> um, yeah, my girlfriend says that I should see a therapist. Um, and given that I don't actually have a girlfriend, she's probably right. Uh, so, she said, hire a, hire a therapist. I was like, that costs money. I can get one for free. So, Mr. Kestrel Doubter, can you please join me on stage? Give it a round of applause. No, use Kestrel Call to get up. Ah, 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 yes. Okay. He said, Phil! <laughs> what we do is this is your script, okay? Yes. Your bits are in red and the stage directions are in green, okay? <laughs> so could you please read out the bits in red? Why? Um, Why? Because I uh, told you to. But it says here to say why. Uh, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. <laughs> Oops, you're right. <laughs> silly Bill. <laughs> silly, silly Bill. <laughs> right, so if you'd like to lie down, we can begin. Now what seems to be the problem? Well, I've got this stand-up competition about the battle week and I don't really know what to do for it. I'm struggling for ideas really. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you're a comedian? Um, yeah. Tell me a joke. What? Tell me and... <laughs> the other doctors... <laughs> a joke. OCD? No. Heart disease? No. Dyslexia? Oh. <laughs> Delusions? Pardon? Delusions? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> ah, a bear!
Were you, were you beaten as a child, Aiden? No, I, I never knew my father. <laughs> That's what you thought. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> To uh, sum up, um, which one was it? <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. My name's Aiden Pittman. Have a great evening. Good night. <laughs>